Well, the National Organization for Marriage has a new video out, and it's full of the usual crazy claims. Of course, we debunked all this during the Prop 8 trial, so it's easy to call them out, starting with a comparison of same-sex couples to drug dealers and pedophiles. What do loving, committed gay and lesbian couples have to do with criminals? Nothing. This is just demeaning people for no reason. Words like these do serious, long-lasting harm, particularly to gay and lesbian kids. And then there's this, natural marriage. This term is nonsense because marriage doesn't come from nature. We're talking about something that comes from people, a set of laws. During the trial, Harvard history professor Nancy Cott testified, the state is involved in granting a status to that institution that no informal marriage has ever approximated. Not to mention, with this term, Nam is calling gay people unnatural. It's just more name calling. It's not surprising that Nam gets their terminology so wrong because their definition of marriage defies reality. Here's what Nam thinks marriage is. Natural marriage creates children. No, sex creates children. There's a difference between sex and marriage. You don't have to be married to create children, and you don't have to have created children to be a parent. It best raises children. No, this has been debunked by one medical organization after another. Nam knows that it isn't true. It protects women. It civilizes men. At least, to Nam's credit, this is sexist against both men and women. This is a hard claim to debunk because it doesn't even make sense, but what Nam seems to be saying is that if gay people can get married, then suddenly men will start impregnating women and then leaving them to go commit crimes. This is offensive to just about everyone, but most of all, to reality. It lowers crime, poverty, and welfare, which in turn reduces government spending and deficits. That's actually true. Marriage has a stabilizing social influence, but not just for straight people. The same holds true for gays and lesbians. If Nam really cared about reducing crime, poverty, and welfare, then they would want us to have the freedom to marry. So what have we learned? That an organization calling itself the National Organization for Marriage apparently doesn't know what marriage is or how it works. Same-sex marriage offers no benefit for society as a whole. This is another crazy claim that we could spend all day debunking, because as everyone knows, including Nam, there are thousands of legal rights and ancillary benefits that accompany marriage. And the last time we checked, gay and lesbian couples were part of society. Same-sex marriage merely validates sex partners. It takes a lot of nerve to make such an offensive statement. Nam's talking about families here. They're dismissing loving, committed couples as mere sex partners, which goes beyond civil debate and enters the realm of invasive personal attack. It's unacceptable. We know, statistically, that natural marriage creates the best possible family for children. This isn't true either. Nam may claim to know this statistically, but they don't cite any actual data. That's because those statistics simply don't exist. They're made up. Your business and your taxes fund homosexual relationships. This is another weird claim. Businesses aren't funding anyone's relationships. It's true that in some states, companies may have to do business with gay couples, but that has nothing to do with marriage. And as far as taxes go, gay and lesbian couples have to file extra returns and pay more taxes because the government won't recognize those relationships. The law already treats everyone equally. Every citizen can marry someone of the opposite sex. That's cute, but Nam knows that that's not really what's at issue here. Yes, everyone can marry someone of the opposite sex, but only straight couples have the freedom to marry the person they love. Only straight couples can form a complete legal family unit with the person of their choosing. Gay and lesbian couples are out of luck. That's not treating people equally. And this is the same argument that people made for racist anti-miscegenation laws. These laws treat people equally, the argument went, because everyone is free to marry someone of the same race. That didn't make sense in 1967, when the Supreme Court ruled in Loving v. Virginia, and it doesn't make sense today. But only the union of one man and one woman should be promoted, because it alone is the foundation of a civilized society. More name-calling, Nam is saying that gay and lesbian couples aren't part of civilized society, that they're uncivilized. That's bad enough, but look what comes next. That's not bigotry, that's biology. So, let's see. Nam just compared an entire minority group to criminals, called them unnatural, said they're less fit to raise children, demeaned their relationships, and called them uncivilized. And then they say, that's not bigotry. At the American Foundation for Equal Rights, I'm Matt Baum. Thanks for watching.